well, the wind's fairly, fairly stiff up here, but a little bit of targ with its wonderful little cartridge has uh, taken a rabbit and just got a couple of hairs here on the track. Very windy, so they're uh, tucking themselves up out of it. So we'll see how we go for the rest of the, uh, the track. And over here um, earlier on in the day hoping that uh, there was something tucked in this side of the wee gully out of the wind but it's uh, it's been a no-show I did see one um, down further there on that ridge about 340 yards down there but there's no way to get down to get it so uh, I had hoped that it was going to uh, uh, join up with a wee mob and, and came, come back into this into this wee gut here, which they sometimes do, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to happen today. Well, this is the area that we'd seen a couple of, uh, of fellow in. Um, they were about two-thirds of the way up the, uh, up the faces there, and more up towards the top end of the valley there. But um, the problem was that um, while they were um, shootable, getting through to them um, was always going to be very difficult. So I've come down into the bottom of the valley and even the, uh, the, the bottom is all choked up so getting through to them um, even still would be uh, you know, quite a chore. So whether we continue to glass and, and hope for deer on that face or not is a uh, question we'll have to ask ourselves. Because if you carry on around um, into the side of the over there is where we were this morning and so it was a good three quarters of an hour drive to get up around onto this side of the, um, that big face and usually um, we get some down in this wee basin here but um, again it may be the wind that's keeping them out because there's no sign of anything in here today so we'll wander back over to the uh, to the old stone hut which is uh, over under that um, big old pine tree over there. Uh, where is it? Yeah, over in there. And we'll spend the night there and see what we can uh, find in the morning. Well, there's all these sheep in here. You can see them dotted all over the place there's probably 50 or 60 down in there so there's no way you can get past them to get to the over to that basin because they're all going to be over on that sunny side as well so um, they're just going to uh, spook all the goats when they run off so I guess we'll just have to call it a wash for the day for the whole weekend actually.
No, I can take it out of the out of the low box for right here. the top of this part of the hill it's all fairly easy going over the top now and there's probably another three four five K of that before we get on to some of the rugged um, stuff going down but we'll just have a have a look out there a bit put that handbrake on So it's just a wonderful place to be back up here again. It's been quite a while, so it's been really restorative. Well, we've come from away over the other side of that we rise there and down off the faces to the right. But when you look around 360 degrees up here, it's just a beautiful place to be. And there is tracks all through these for uh, mustering purposes and things of that nature but as we uh, pan around a wee bit further you're down into the township of Cromwell and, and Lake Dunstan and that's where we'll end up when we come down off the hill and you can see the, the track way down through there that we'll, we'll get down off it and uh, when you pan right back around to where the truck is we're still going across the the, the tops are reasonably flat but but then we'll get down onto some um, reasonably rugged pieces um, down over that wee ridge there it, it gets a wee bit rougher but it's still a very negotiable track if you take a wee bit of care Even going down, she's a bit, uh, she's a bit rugged, but a wee bit of caution and crawl again. Managed to get it. I don't think you can beat the old Land Cruisers for this sort of this sort of track. Fantail out there 
plan for another track. So if you look out over this way here, you can see the uh, the top end of the Quarra Gorge that circles around behind me, um, all coming from Cromwell over there. So it's a pretty impressive part of the country.